Hello students, this is Arshia. I am going to teach you the course Computer Networks. We start with the first topic of our first unit which is about data communications, its components and direction of data flow that we are going to discuss in this video. Now, if you see the picture, uh, it is very much clear that we are, we have some communicating devices where we are communicating between the devices we are sharing data. Now to define what is a data communication, let us let me first tell you what data means. Data is nothing but the raw fact or the information that uh, we are communicating. Okay? Uh, data communication is nothing but generally the exchange of data between devices through a transmission link or through a communication media. Now, how will I characterize or uh, specify the uh, effectiveness of my data communication? There are four characteristics based on which I am going to tell you the effectiveness of uh, data communication system. We have delivery, accuracy, timeliness and jitter. Now the first characteristic is delivery. Then when we are doing communication, when we are uh, doing data communication, we have to see to it that the data is being delivered to the correct destination. It does not go to the wrong device. Second thing is accuracy. Accuracy in the sense whatever data we are sending has to be sent accurately, correctly without any alteration or modifications. Third, timeliness. Timeliness is whenever we are communicating, we have to see that the data reaches the required destination in a timely manner that is promptly. And then last uh, characteristics is jitter. Jitter is actually defined as the variation in the packet arrival time. Whenever we have an audio video conversation or audio video communication, we, we experience jitter because the data or packet arrival time, there is a variation in between. So we have to see to it that we increase the uh, delivery, accuracy and timeliness and reduce the jitter to make our data communication effective. Yes. Now, as we have seen the, uh, the definition of a data communication system or what is actually a data communication means. Now, we are going to look on to the components of a data communication system. Now, everything comprises of some components. Likewise, our data communication system comprises of five important components. Now, if you see the diagram, uh, whenever we are communicating, we have two people talking, at least two people talking. So, one I name it as sender and the other one is the receiver. Okay? And whenever, whatever we are communicating, the data that we are transmitting is nothing but the message. Okay? So, we have one sender, two receiver, Third is the message and the communication medium or the uh, channel on which we are transmitting, I will call it as a transmission medium. So, I have sender, receiver, message, the communication medium. And fifth one which is a very important component in a data communication system is the protocol. Whenever, whenever two parties are communicating, we have to make sure that they follow particular rules of communication. That rules are nothing but is called as a protocol. Now, in short, let me tell you what are the components of a data communication system. We have the message is nothing but the data that we are communicating. The message could be a text message, it could be an audio message or a video message, etc. And the sender is a device that is sending the data message. Receiver is a device that is receiving the message. Transmission media is the transmission media is a physical path through which we are doing the communication. It, examples of transmission media could be a twisted pair cable, it could be a fiber optic cable or we can have a unguided transmission media also. Then the last but not the least is a protocol as a protocol is defined as a set of rules that govern the communication process. So whenever I am communicating, I have to see to it that both the parties follow the protocol or the set of rules. So, this was about the components of a data communication system. Now, the next topic of this video would be direction of data flow. Now, when we have understood what a data communication system means and what are the components of data communication, we should also be aware of how the data flows between the two devices in data communication system. What is the direction of the flow? which device is sending, which is receiving and all that. So, communication between two devices can be specified using either simplex data flow, ha half duplex or full duplex. So, there are three uh, direction of uh, 
data flows that first one is simplex dupl half duplex and full duplex now have a look at these diagrams which will make you understand what each one of the data flow direction means simplex simplex means only the sender will send and the receiver will receive okay the direction of data is just like a one way one way street okay and then half duplex half duplex is where where both the stations can transmit but not at the same time you can see direction of data at time 1 and direction of data at time 2 sending the data from sender to the receiver at time 1 and at some other time the receiver is sending data to the sender so the data is being transmitted but not at the same time and then the third one is a full duplex transmission where the data is being transmitted between both the devices simultaneously that is called as full duplex so now let me tell you in short the points about simplex simplex communication is unidirectional only one device will send the other will receive best example to understand is a one way street a uh, technical example to understand uh, simplex uh, transmission is we have a keyboard which will only take in uh, a input device and a monitor which is always an output device then uh, the simplex mode we will use the entire capacity of the channel for transmission transmission of data in one direction we have half duplex transmission where each station will both transmit and receive but not at the same time so what is going to happen is just like a one lane road where you will see traffic coming in one direction and also in the other direction but not at the same time here the entire capacity of the channel will not be shared by only one device it will be shared by both the devices but at different times the best example is walkie talkie last is the how is the full duplex transmission in full du duplex transmission we have both the stations where they can transmit simultaneously that means device 1 can send and receive and device 2 also can send and receive that means the signal capacity is being shared by both the devices okay the signal going in one direction shares the capacity of the link with the signals going in the other direction the best example of full duplex transmission is uh, the telephone network where when two devices are communicating on a telephone line I, uh, both the devices can transmit data at the same time that is called as the full duplex transmission so this was about our today's video uh, about on what is a data communication system the components of a data communication system and the direction of data flow where i will uh, to just summarize what is a data communication system it is nothing but the exchange of information between two devices using a communication link and the components there are five components of data communication we have the sender receiver the message the transmission media and the protocol and then we have the direction of data flow the direction of data flow is th uh, three three types are there we have simplex half duplex and full duplex thank you